right in the shin. Now, did anyone intervene? Did officials, you were not allowed to kick? No, the ref saw it and let it happen. The ref actually was on James' side. See, right. here, here's what happened. They were in Philadelphia. The Houston Rockets were playing the Sixers. I'm a Sixers fan, okay? Yep. So I'm giving it to James. I'm, I'm talking the best trash that I've ever talked in my life. I told him that people live in his beard. Uh, I told him, <laughs> you know, I, I'm really, I'm really, really giving it to him. And he said, Kevin, you don't shut up. He said, I'm going to turn it up, and I'm going to really give you a city the business. And I was like, what you say and what you do is two different things, brother. You need to look at the scoreboard. And at the point, like, he had, like, ten points at the time. James Harden went on to score 52 points. Oh, my God. Uh, and at the end of it, when the game was over, he came over. He's like, see what you did to your city? And he said, bop, kick him right in the shin. <laughs> and <laughs> it was one of those moments where you immediately look for help. And I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> and no refs or nothing. The ref was like, the ref gave me a look that said, you got what you deserve. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was one of those moments. Well, you had a pretty serious incident flying into Boston. You got to an accident. Yeah, what to, happened exactly? I got into an accident on the plane. Uh, it was a delayed, a delayed scare. Because we didn't realize that we were in an accident until, until we said it out loud. Like, we uh -huh. knew, we knew something happened. Like, we, we, we knew we were coming in weird because the plane caught a tailwind, so a piece of the plane shifted down. So, you know, naturally, when we're on a plane, we know what's normal, what's not. This is... Dishes started flying, and I was like, that's not, that don't normally happen, but you know, we, <laughs> you know, we still cool. We're, we're having a good conversation. <laughs> we land, the front hits, the back hits, and you hear boom, boom. And we all looked at each other, and there was a, a shock, and I yelled out, we're in an accident! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna tell you, keep in mind, keep in mind, we are not in the air. At this point, we're, we're on the tarmac. Like, you can hear, like, the plane dragging. We turned into the most dramatic people. <laughs> we were holding each other. <laughs> it stopped, and the doors opened up. I was like, put your <laughs> I'm such a bitch. I said, I said, I said, I said put your oxygen mask on. What? You might as well get some use out of that. In my mind, in my mind, it was the worst thing ever. I was, I was the only jackass trying to put the... Ah, ah. Oh, Everybody, wow. Everybody else was so calm. They were, they were, they were grabbing their bags. I got the mask. Ah, can you breathe? Can you breathe? Oh. You had a dinner with heavyweights. Dinner with just uh, some of the biggest stars, a lot of comedy stars, yeah. music stars. Yeah. Uh, Chappelle was there. Uh, Eddie Murphy was there. Chris yeah. Rock yeah. was there. Uh, Chris Tucker, Usher. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, Dwayne Wade was there. Yeah. Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle Union. Mm -hmm. You get a bunch of people like that together, who picks up the check? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, for damn sure it wasn't me. I'll tell you that. Right. Uh, you know, you got to go into those things always acting like you want to pay. And I think that's how you get out of it. You have to be the, the one that's most vocal about, hey, real quick, guys, I don't, I don't mind taking a bill. Let me, ref, you're on, sir, just, just scream it out. Yeah. Hey, my, you, give me the bill. And right. they always go, oh, such and such took care of it. And then you got to have the biggest, like, are you kidding me, man? What? <laughs> Like Chris, Chris Rock paid Chris it. Chris Rock paid. Chris Rock paid it. But I, I threw a fit. Like, you gotta be kidding me, man. I right. wanna pay it. I'm the youngest. I look up to you guys. So not let me pay that. I bet you didn't even have any money on I you. I had nothing <laughs> on you. Nothing. Nothing at all. We have a picture here. That's a nice picture. Yeah. Yeah. That's a picture of you guys. If you look closely at my back pockets, they're empty. There was no wallet. Yeah. It was nothing. And I'll be honest with you, you can tell that Chris was unhappy with the bill by looking yeah. at his face. <laughs> you can definitely... You can, the guy with the most money, probably Eddie Murphy in the yeah. background, so happy he didn't have to pay us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and there was a... Dave actually ordered the most unnecessary stuff. Like, Dave kept doing... He kept ordering, like, caviar. He was like, I don't even eat this stuff, man. I just know I'm not paying. <laughs> <laughs> what level did you get to uh, as far as basketball goes? Did you play high school basketball? Uh, okay, we being honest? Like, because yeah. you can find footage, so I don't know how far I can lie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, listen, I played, I played high school basketball. I played four years of varsity, but it wasn't, it wasn't easy, okay? Um, I wanted to play, 
real bad. This is all I wanted to do. And my mom, she didn't want me to try out because my school was like two hours from our house. And we had to catch public transportation. And the tryouts for the basketball team was at 6 a.m. This is a true story. And my mom was like, you're not leaving our house at 4 a.m. to go try out for a basketball team. There's all types of crazy people out here. I'm not sending my son on public transportation at that time. I was like, mom, but this is the tryouts. Like, I want to be on the team. It's the only way I can get to be on the team. She's like, no, not going to happen. So, because I'm such a genius, I decided to take all the clocks in the house and set all of the clocks forward. So, How so when it forward? was... Oh, I set it forward. Bad. <laughs> so, like, when it was really 4 a.m., I set the clocks to say 6 a.m. That's what time I was leaving. So, like, wow. I woke my mom up and everything, like, it was time for work. I gotta get up. She's like, it's still dark out. What's going on today? I'm like, I don't know, but we gotta get up out of here. Time to go. I, VCRs, clocks, her watches, everything. I set every clock in the house, and I made it to tryouts. I tried out, and I was happy. My plan worked. And midway through the day, I remember being in class. You know, classrooms got those skinny windows, right? And I'm, like, doing my work, and I remember a head popping in the window. <laughs> And, and, and it was my mom. <laughs> and my mom, and she was like, she just biting her lips. Like, <laughs> and I remember the teacher's like, Mr. Hart, your mother wants to see you. And I was like, don't, don't let me go out there if I'm a son. <laughs> he was like, go ahead, Miss Hart, you're excused. And I was like, no, 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 please, you gotta come out there with me. <laughs> and I remember walking out in that hall, and all I heard us say was, you had me get to work two hours early? <laughs> what nobody else in the office but me? She beat me. All the way home. Every bus we got on, she hit me, had me on the bus with nobody else on the bus. <laughs> the train, I never, I think I got whooped. I may have gotten whooped for three and a half hours straight. And there was nothing I could say. And I was happy because I made the team. And she was like, Oh, you made gonna... the team? I made the team. And so that is one of Right. I'm the only dumbass that spends all his money on clothes. I'm going to be broke. I already know it. Y'all going to look up. I ain't going to have no money. Where is it? Right here. This is, a... <laughs> this is where it went. Right here. Every dime. Right here. You always look good. You always look good. You I always like, put together well. I love clothes. I love clothes. You know what's bad, though? There's nothing worse than, than putting on an expensive outfit and nobody noticing. That hurts your feelings. <laughs> Because for some reason, when you put on something expensive, you step outside, you expect people to go, that's expensive. Like, no, they, they, they don't. They don't. They don't, never, they don't know? Never gotten one of them. Not one. <laughs> Nobody has ever done it. You're wearing a leather jacket with, like, a, a tiger on the back. Never. And no one says anything. I'll tell you the funny one. Uh, I was on tour. I brought this leather jacket, and it had a peace sign on the back of it. It was like a rhinestone peace sign. I said, you know what I'm going to do at the end of my show? I'm going to turn around, show the back of my jacket, and put up a peace sign. The crowd going to go off. I did it. Nobody said nothing. Nobody <laughs> said nothing. It was absolute silence. It was a no. pro-war yeah. crowd. It was a, it's a crowd that likes war. One you know? person was like, what's that on his back? I, was like, so I, did, I did the peace sign to try to show y'all. I think it's about peace. school crossing. It was nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Sometimes getting no laugh is much funnier than getting the laugh. Oh, for, for you, because you understand, but, you know. What do you but, mean for me? <laughs> what the hell is that? No, 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 not like that. No, no. Well, for you, no, Conan, because, no, no. you know, that's, that's all you got. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I know what you're that's saying. A, that's a genuine laugh, because I didn't mean it like that. You are